What's up guys? Welcome back to another installment of our Sigma Beginner Freestyle Series. Today we are tying up the three steps of the power phase. We've talked about the catch, we've talked about the true power phase or the pull, the underneath portion. Today we are talking about the finish of the stroke or the end of the stroke. Jumping right in, the first thing you want to think about is finishing all the way to your hips. Some people like to say as if you were putting your hands in your pockets. I like to think just finishing at the hip. There's a lot of different lines we talk about in freestyle. Our body line, the axis around which we rotate, our head line, the mid line, which we don't want to cross over. There's another line at your hips. You want to pass that point every time. You want to pass your hips and finish all the way to the bottom of your stroke. That's a big fault for a lot of people. One of the main ones is just finishing your stroke early and picking the arm up from here as opposed to finishing all the way down at your hip and allowing yourself to open up into that rotation. Finishing at your hip also allows you to get that full rotation. We want to tie up all the things that we've talked about throughout this series and put them into one thing, freestyle, right? So if we're not rotating, if we're not allowing ourselves to open up, then our stroke isn't going to get all the way to the bottom. It's probably going to pin our shoulder into our recovery, which we'll talk more about in the next video. But the biggest thing I want you to think about is finishing all the way down. Another fault people have is the direction of their hands. Perry's propulsion videos, which we'll have linked, show us a little bit how if we push this way versus this way, right? If I push here, I'm gonna go that way. If I push here, I'm going to go that way. If I push in, I'm going to go out, vice versa, right? Focusing on your hand placement. For the finish of the stroke, you want to have your palm facing the wall behind you as long as possible because we're trying to move forward. If I was trying to come at the camera, I would want to push behind me, right? So keeping that hand placement, you want to think about following that line, palm is facing all the way back. I'll do it again on the surface just for you guys to be able to see. Palm is facing backwards all the way to the end. My wrist breaks, I finish my stroke, and then I can get into my recovery. So keeping that hand facing the back wall is going to be really important to our propulsion going forward. If you push outward, you're going to see it because you might swerve in the lane and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. All these things tie up. Another great thing, if you haven't seen the breathing video, make sure to go check it. But we've talked about very briefly during the breathing video that you wanna get that power breath at the end of your stroke. Well, now that we're working on the finish, you have a reference point. Once you get to the end of your stroke and you're finishing at your hips, you get that powerful exhale. And then as you get into your recovery, you start your inhale process. Focusing on that power breath, you wanna think about breathing at the end of your stroke. We've talked about it. Powerful exhale here, so that when my face starts peeking out of the water, I can start my inhale into my recovery. Once again, pulling through, hands facing the back wall. Head peeks out, getting my inhalation in. Thinking about all these things, right? We're building, we're putting together building blocks to try to create a greater thing, which is freestyle. Add all these things. If you have a little bit of trouble, go back and practice it a little bit more and nothing can take the place of water time. So really focus on it, learn, learn your body and get to understand what makes you go in your freestyle. Hopefully that helps, drills are next. And so now moving on to the drills for working on getting a good finish past the hips. I'm here with Fred today. He's gonna to be joining me and helping out with some of these drills. Continue to focus on finishing past your hips. We talked about hand in the pocket um, or the hip line. These are all great examples of ways that you can think about getting yourself to finish all the way to the end of your stroke with a good rotation. Now, the first drill we're gonna work on is called freestyle half skull. Everything is basically going to be from the ribs down. So you're gonna be starting from here, and just like we did pump, pump, pull in the last video, working on the front half, now we're gonna be working on the back half. The fun part about this drill is you can do it while you're standing, focusing on finishing from the ribs, getting all the way down to the end of the stroke. You can do this standing up, you can do it standing in the line at Starbucks, all different examples, but we're gonna do it in the water today. Does okay. that make sense? Sense. All right, whenever you're ready. The 
the big focus is not being so fixated on exactly how you get back up, but making sure to get all the way past the hips. This is also a great drill for butterfly because you're working on finishing all the way to the back. You can also do it with alternating arms to help implement that rotation. In the case of right now, we're just working on finishing past our hips and getting that full feel of the stroke. Awesome job. So now we're going to do the same drill with alternating arms. So as I was saying, the, the simultaneous arms is great for butterfly as well as freestyle, but to help implement some of that rotation, we're gonna do it with alternating arms. Whenever you're ready. This is gonna allow you to open up your chest both directions, finishing past your hip. It's almost like walking in the water, but you're horizontal. Really wanna stay focused on finishing all the way to the back of the stroke, or else we're not getting the full breadth of the freestyle range. Now, moving on, we're gonna to transition to a bit of a more full range skull. So we're gonna do two variations of this. The first one is going to be regular full range skull, where we're gonna move with simultaneous arms, working all the way from the top, coming down, and gradually moving down the range of the freestyle stroke in a sculling fashion. If you're not familiar with sculling, it's just quick figure eights, working on learning how to grab the water and really anchor down all the way through the range. A lot of people like to do sculling out in front. I like to do sculling with the full range at times because it really allows us to feel out our freestyle all the way through. Does that make sense? Yes. And then the next thing is going to be, or the next version of this full range skull is the YMCA skull. So unlike the full range where we're constantly moving down our body, the other variation is in stations. The Y up, and up at the top of our stroke, the M with the high elbow, the C with the power diamond, and then the A finishing all the way past our hips. You can do either one. Either one is a great opportunity to feel out your freestyle and really get a good anchor. We're gonna do both. Okay, sounds good? Ready. Awesome, whenever you're ready. Just like last video, this week's drills are a great opportunity to use a snorkel if you have one, because you can really fixate yourself on what you're trying to do underneath the water without having to focus on other things. That being said, you need to continue to focus on getting a good catch, getting good rotation, and good breathing to have a good freestyle, because we don't want to have to rely on a snorkel forever. We're not always going to have one at use, so you want to be able to have options in your stroke. So make sure to go back and watch some of the other videos. Awesome, now let's do the YMCA. So like I said, the one difference between the two is the YMCA is in complete stations. You're working, you're working in the Y out in front of your body, the M with the high elbow, the C in the power diamond, and the A working all the way from the back of the hips. Don't worry so much about the recovery process. Just glide your hands back up to the top when you're ready to restart, and then really work the nice anchor. Y, then M, then C, then A. Now the last drill that we're gonna be working on today is fishtail, which is just a variation of simple freestyle. Um, so the big focus is going to be exaggerating what happens at the end. So you, all you're going to do is at the end of your freestyle, simple freestyle, is really feel like you're flicking the water with your tricep. So really get all the way to the finish, getting a nice powerful finish of the stroke. The one caveat is, is I don't want you guys to be flicking with your wrist, because doing that and flicking with the wrist can lead us into cranking up our elbow and a lot of discomfort during the recovery process, more of which we're gonna talk about in the next video. So at the end of this, do not flick with the wrist, but rather flick with the full forearm to the back of the stroke. Does that sound good? Got it. Awesome, whenever you're ready. Okay. You really wanna get that powerful finish with your forearm. It's okay to exaggerate for this drill, as long as, once again, we're not flicking with the wrist, but rather flicking with the entire forearm. We're getting the full power out of it. Nice job. Really push to the end of the stroke. If you want to graze your hip 
or graze your, your thigh with your thumb, that is just fine. Whatever allows you to finish all the way back. Awesome job. So now that we've finished the entire power phase, it's important for you to think about where we've come from. We've done everything with the trunk of the body, and we worked into the catch, we worked into the power phase, and now we've worked into the finish. Next video is gonna be a two-part series about the recovery, but the big thing you need to continue to think about is going backwards. Take a step back and go to your cues. If you're struggling with something in your freestyle, it's okay to take a step back. We've worked the last three videos on what we do underneath the water to make ourselves more powerful, get more efficiency and more strength out of our stroke. We're gonna tie it up with these last few videos and then it'll be on to bigger and better things. Hopefully that helps. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, ring the bell, comment with any questions. If you're in the DFW area and you'd like more information on swim lessons or swim team, be sure to visit www.sigmaswim.org.